Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama, and I have had some serious trouble lately with my internet. I did upload my video the other day, and ever since then, YouTube has been cutting me off at like seven and a half minutes. I know I talk a lot, but I don't understand that. So if anyone knows why it's doing that, please let me know, because I've recorded like two or three videos, but because it keeps cutting me off, my son is gonna have to like link them together somehow, so I was not, I'm not able to upload those yet. But I'm hoping that this one will upload because I actually want this one to skip my other Dollar Tree hauls because this one is a Walmart haul. And guys, you have got to get to Walmart. Like the deals that they had on clearance, I've never seen like a clearance food section there. I've always seen the other clearance section that's kind of over by our paints and stuff. And normally that has just clearance stuff, but not really food. Excuse me. But today when I walked in and I went over to the right they just had a huge shelf just full of clearance stuff and you guys like I feel kind of bad but I might have cleared it out a little bit because it is costing me a fortune in food right now you guys again with nobody being able to go anywhere and everybody's at home all the time all my kids want to do is snack so let me just oh and so I actually, before all this started, I worked several jobs because my husband and I have this plan that in my, in my field of therapy, I can work at several different places, um, seven days a week, or I can travel or do whatever and make pretty good money. So just last year, within the couple months that we chose to do that and pretty much for me to work almost constantly, but it's a good thing. We paid off his truck and his motorcycle. I'm sorry, guys. There's this black thing. Okay, I think I got it. Anyway, so we paid off his truck and his motorcycle and we wanted to get other things paid off and then the coronavirus hit and I wasn't able to work in more than one building. Well, now I'm able to again. So starting next week or the week after that, I will be working in three buildings again which means I will be working all the time, which I love. I love working. I love therapy. I love helping people. I love watching people get better. So I probably will be doing a Dollar Tree haul once a week and then kind of spreading it out throughout the week. Because like I said, I, I usually work from about six in the morning and get home about eight o'clock at night. But we, we have like this checklist we do. It's kind of I don't know, it's for me so that I feel like I'm accomplishing something. So we write down all of our bills and what the total of them is. And then we write what the total of all of those bills are. And we say, okay, if we want to pay this off in six months, how much a month do we have to pay on them? So that it kind of breaks it down into little portions so that we kind of know, instead of just looking at one lump sum of just putting it out there, like $5,000 on a credit card. That's a lot to look at. Like nobody, you're like, why would I even put anything on it? Like I can't pay $5,000 right now. But like I said, for us, I like to break it down. And then, like I said, we'll say, okay, I want to pay it off in six months. And then again, it says, so this is how much you have to pay to have it paid off in six months. And that actually worked really well for us last year. I mean, we literally paid off my husband's truck and his Harley Davidson motorcycle. So, and several credit cards, which we have now put money back on, but it's just worked really well for us. So I'm going to be starting that again, either next week or the week after that, so that we can get back up to where we want to be with every one of our credit cards paid off and to buy a bigger house because we are outgrowing this house. So let me at almost four minutes, I haven't even shown you the first thing. So let me show you guys what I found. Ooh, I just hit the thing. I'm sorry. Now you guys have this my oh no I feel like if I fix it it's gonna slide off and I don't want it to fall so I'm sorry about this that's a bag hanging on my little rack up here so you see I'm in my laundry room and I tried to upload the video yesterday I don't think it did it but one of these days a video will be uploaded of showing I'm in my new craft room so because everyone has taken up all the rooms I am now in the laundry room so you see how much space I have my camera is at the wall I am sitting at my desk and there's the washer and dryer right behind me. So this is my craft area. There's no windows, there's no nothing. But the good thing is nobody ever comes into the laundry room except for me. So I have my own little space. I did do a little walkthrough kind of thing of it. And as soon as my son has time, I will upload it for you. But yeah, this is, this is gonna be me now guys, over here in the corner in the laundry room. Okay, let's get started. 
you guys I found these kind I opened it because I did already put one box into our snack bin these are normally 278 and these are the kind healthy grains dark chocolate chunk my husband's favorite anything is chocolate chip so these are excuse me there's five in here they're gluten-free they have oats millet buckwheat amaranth and amaranth and quinoa and each bar is six point two ounces no I'm sorry each bar is 1.2 ounce but guys these are really good and they're really good for you they are only let's see one bar is 150 calories and it has eight grams of sugar if I'm on the run this is a great thing to grab versus like a pack of donuts or something that is sitting out there and it's called my name all the time so there was five in here guys I got it for one dollar let me just show you on the back there is the clearance sticker for one dollar and the it's August 5th of 2020 is the best buy date. That's fine. But yeah, guys, $1. Like you can't get these at the Dollar Tree, so why wouldn't I get it? I'm gonna put it back here behind me so you guys are gonna see a little stack coming up. So I got two boxes of those. Again, I already put one in our snack bin. That one is September 29th of 2020. This one is nice. I already put one box in the snack bin in, in the living room or in the kitchen. So the next one, let me just, I have everything on my lap because I still haven't figured out how to do the hauls from in here. And there's, again, not a lot of room. So I have everything sitting in my lap right now. Actually, I think I'm going to go this way. So I got these, a 16 pack of the toaster pastries, you guys, pop tarts, name brand, frosted chocolate chip. Again, my husband's favorite is chocolate chip and my kids, well, they'll eat anything, but this is not a unknown flavor or gross so they will love it it's the huge pack the value one dollar again guys one dollar has 16 toaster pastries 27 ounces in the package again it's the frosted chocolate chip they are normally three dollars and 68 cents one dollar like you would think I'd gone shopping at Dollar Tree, but I did not. These are February 11th of 2021. I have no idea why they were getting rid of them, but I did get two boxes. Again, 16 of them. So I will put one out on our breakfast shelf, and then I will put this into my... I thought it was my hidden snack area where I have this one bin in my kitchen under my chest area that I thought I was being slick and every once in a while I'll pull something else out from that area and put it into our snack area so that the kids have something different but when I went to get in there tonight I realized that some of the boxes were open so my kids know where that bin is now too which doesn't do me any good but I kind of do that so that I, if I put all the snacks out at once they'll eat them all at once even if they're not hungry they'll eat them so I put them in there and just kind of rotate them out every now and then when I find really good deals like this so I believe I got three yes so I got three of these right here these are the Kellogg's Nutrigrain strawberry breakfast bars I believe my dog is the dogs are the only people that try to come in here and I think my dogs are pushing the door open so I hope it doesn't get loud because my kids are out there but this is the 16 value pack morning energy with eight grams of whole grains and they're strawberry i love these the apple cinnamon are better i love the apple cinnamon but the strawberry are really good too guys and this was 150 one dollar and fifty cents and it's normally four dollars oh gosh i did not want that to fall into the camera because i do not want to start over this normally four dollars and 78 cents guys this is 16 individually wrapped little breakfast bars a great one for on the go grab it and go you know i'm all about convenience food and each bar is 130 calories this does have a little bit more sugar it's 12 grams of sugar but the best buy date on this is october 10th of 2020. i don't again know why they were getting rid of them but i did get three boxes the best buy date on this is october 30th of 2020 and my third box is January 19th of 2021. So this will be the last one I put out. Again, 150 for 16 of them. Name grand, Kellogg's Nutrigrain. I was very excited. A couple other things. I'm not showing everything I got because nobody wants to see everything, the other stuff. But some of the things I got. So I told you guys that my middle son graduated this year and I just randomly found this. It was 50 cents. It is the cutest little emoji thing and it says party time. <laughs> And he talks like it's so cute. 
So this was 50 cents, you guys. So, I mean, of course I got it. Why wouldn't I? 50 cents? It's, okay, it just fell. So I got three of these stamps. They were 10 cents, you guys. They are normally 97 cents. This one says Mr. and Miss. You can see it on this side better. There you go. And then I did get two of the Make a Wish. Again, 10 cents. So I will be doing one of these. I will just put one of these, sorry, into a giveaway. Again, this is the Make a Wish because I did get two of those. 10 cents each. These are, who are they by? So they're by Hampton Art. So, I mean, and they're big. I don't know if it tells me how big they are, guys, but these are really big stamps. Like, they're not little. It doesn't tell me, but again, they're big. So I did get three of those, 10 cents each. I've been working on scrapbooking. Mm, I haven't even finished one, but I found this at my Walmart. It was $2.97 and it's one pound of the scrap pack and it's assorted papers and cardstock. So the papers are so pretty that they have in there. And so, and I liked it because it was so many different kinds. And since I'm just starting, I don't know what the heck I need. So I really liked that this one was different. I love this one. It's my favorite. So anyways, one pound guys, $2.97. And it just has all kinds. I don't know if it tells you on here. It just says one pound. But there is, look at the back of this. All the different sizes and colors and designs. I really like this. So next thing. I did get, these are, I want to say like buttons, but you can use them for anything. It says two buttons, it does, one inch. But I think I'm going to attach these to little, I'm thinking like little, the glass jars at Dollar Tree and maybe make a design on them. These were 75 cents for the two, so of course I got them. It says that they are normally... $3.44, get the heck out of here. I would not pay $3.44 for two little stars, guys. No. I almost didn't pay 75 cents. I can assure you, I'm not paying $3.44. Get out of here. $2.24. No. Again, these were 50 cents for these two red and gold ones. Again, they are buttons, one inch. I paid 50 cents, not $2.24. I'm not paying that much. No way. Sometimes, you know, they price these things like that because people pay those prices. No, not me. Not me. So the, I guess this Fabri-Tec is one of the best things to use. It was pretty expensive. It was like $6 and something cents. So it's four fluid ounces. You guys, I'm going to use this as little as possible. I'm going to be getting a little toothpick and spreading it thin because that is expensive for me. Like I did not want to pay for it. I did pick up three pieces of this felt. I probably could have gotten at a Dollar Tree for bigger pieces for a dollar, but the Dollar Tree is pretty far from my house. And since I was already home, I didn't want to go there. And so these are 22 cents each. I got the green, the red, and the brown because I am working, my first one is gonna be like a Star Wars SpongeBob kind of thing for my middle son. And I figured these were kind of the colors. I don't even know where I'm going with this, guys. I have watched a million and a half YouTube videos on how to do them. And I don't even know, I have no idea. So I'm hoping it's gonna work out. Okay, you guys, I, I, don't know how to sew. I've said it a million times. Have no idea how to sew. But let me tell you, I found so much fabric today, I could not even let, like, put it down. I couldn't. It's like, they, you have to run out. If you like to sew or you like fabric, guys, you have got to run out to Walmart and get this. Each one of these, let me just tell you, besides one, was $1 a yard. The other one was $1.50 a yard. So this whole bunch right here, guys, $1 a yard. And it's like a thick one. It's not, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like the textured thick. This is not a thin fabric at all. It's like, I feel like it's more like a tablecloth kind of fabric. Um, Look at the texture, I don't know. The lighting in here is so bad, guys. I'm gonna have to put up some lights. But, so this was $1 a yard. That is beautiful. This one is probably one of my favorites, guys. This also is the same material. Did it say what kind of material on there it is? No, it doesn't say. But let me see if it says it anywhere. No. So anyways, here's this one. 
my favorite one. It's the black, the red, the gray, and the white. One dollar a yard, guys. Like, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it, but I was like, I'm going to regret this. I'm going to regret this if I don't get it. This one I wasn't a huge fan of, but over here in our town, we have a lot of artsy people and look at the colors. It's like green and oranges and browns. And I thought, well, I could do a scrapbooking slash junk journal kind of covered in this. And I feel like people would really like it. So it's like flowers and just different designs. So pretty. So anyways, that was $1 a yard. Also, I'm trying to figure out, I think the Baja I think it was this one, I believe, was $1.50. I don't care. It's so beautiful. I was not leaving it. And for $1.50, these are all actually, let me just say, the same fabric. Oh, no, it's not. That one's thicker. So this one right here is the same other fabric. It feels like the um, textured tablecloth kind of material. I just, I'm trying to get like a really, let me show you this one. I love this. So look at the little dog, you guys. Oh, wait, is that a sheep? I think it's a sheep now that I look at it. Anyways, look at the animal. That's what I'll say. Look at that. It's like a gray, a black, and a white. Oh my gosh. And then let me, this is a dog for sure. Over here, she's like feeding it and it's up. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like all of the pictures on here are just so gorgeous. Like I don't even know where to start. This is beautiful. So one, I think that was one fifty a yard. That is not bad. The rest of these were all $1 a yard. This is again the thick. This is just a uh, blue. Oh, okay. So it does tell me what it's a Waverly inspirations. So they're all Waverly fabric. So again, it's the thicker fabric. And this one is just the blue and the white. Again, $1 a yard. I should have got more than a yard, but then I was like, what am I going to do? I don't know how to sew. So if you guys have any ideas what to do with it, please tell me. But I was not leaving it. Not at all. So this is another one. I love this one. I just love like the pastels. There's the peach or pink, the purple, the blues, the gray, the black. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so pretty. Like if you know how to sew, you guys run, even if you don't know how to sew, because I don't know how to sew and I ran out and got it. This one is a thicker one. So I'm trying to figure out if this one has a name on it, but this is definitely a way thicker fabric, but this is just a black and white with like brush strokes. I wish that the lighting was better. I'm really sorry, guys. I will fix that somehow. But anyways, this is a black and white with the brush strokes. And this is a really thick fabric. It's beautiful. You guys, this $1, I mean, you guys, again, I don't, I buy fabric sometimes, but I don't usually buy like a lot of it. I had to buy all that. This was, let me look at my pieces. So for all that fabric, I just showed you, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yards. So seven pieces of fabric. I paid $8, you guys. So how does that work out with a dollar fifty? Oh, I guess two of them were a dollar fifty. I'm sorry. So anyways, $8 for seven things of fabric, seven yards. Amazing deal. So I think my kids just turned up the TV in the living room because it just got extremely loud. So again, I'm doing the um, scrapbook slash junk journals. And I just happened to pass by these while I was waiting for my stuff to get cut. And this is so cute. It says the future is bright and it was $1 and it's by pen and gear and it's a bookmark. And I was like, you know, like it's got the little planets and everything up there. First of all, how cute would this be in like friend mail, which I haven't done any of that yet. Okay. It's not going to open it and I'm not going to look like a fool trying to open it. But I was like, I could make one like a planet one. And I could totally like put this in one of the little pockets. I mean, that's cute, a little bookmark in the pocket. So to go with that, I found this little notebook. It's called Lunch Notes. And I know Dollar Tree had some and they were really cute. But again, I wasn't at Dollar Tree and I liked that this went with the other planet one. So it's by Pen and Gear and it includes 24 notes and four sticker sheets. So if you look at the back, these are the stickers and the sayings, but I'm going to open it because I plan on opening it for my junk journals and stuff. I feel like the color just changed on my thing. So it says help someone who is having a problem. So, and then you can put it in there in like one of the pockets and they can write on the back or they can just do whatever. Give a friend a high five when passing them. Just little inspirational things that I can put. Again, I can put these in friend mail or I can just put them in little pockets and anything. It doesn't even have to just be in this themed one. Offer to share your lunch with a friend. 
my nephew always shares his lunch with everyone. Drives my sister crazy because he never eats his and he trades it. And these are the little stickers. I really wanted like a big book of stickers, but you guys, I don't know if you've been to Walmart lately. They, I even was looking for books for pictures for my junk journal. I am not paying those prices. I have not really looked around for books or anything in Walmart just because you guys, the prices on them was, I'm like, where is the like 98 section cent section here? When my kids were little, I remember like getting a little paperback books. I'm not looking for anything huge. I just wanted the pictures to cut out and put in the junk journals. No way in the world am I paying the prices that they wanted. No way. I couldn't even believe it. Like it was horrible. No, mm -mm, not happening. I'm not paying that much money. I was like, no, I'll be heading to Dollar Tree tomorrow after work. Okay. Cause mm -mm, not happening. So then I got a different thing, same thing, the bookmarks and the lunch notes. And these you guys look at these. So there, I think I forgot to tell you, there's 24 in each one, right? Yeah. Look at how cute the pandas, the cactus, the pizza, the dinosaur. Oh my gosh. I can't even the rainbow llamas. Oh my gosh. Like how cute is that? So it looks like one side is like a glossy and one side's a matte. So that's the glossy and that's the matte. You guys, it's so cute. So then here is the little lunch notes that goes with it. Again, I'm not going to use these for lunch notes, but I'm going to put them into, again, the little junk journals. It says, talk to someone who seems down. Don't give that to a small child. Do not give that one to a small child because I'm not going to be the one going to jail for that one. Give your teacher a compliment. Okay, now one of my dogs is definitely pushing his way in here. I can see the door opening. Share your school supplies. People, it is too expensive right now, okay? People are out of jobs and everything. Normally, yes, please share your school supplies. But keep that stuff to yourself right now. Mommy doesn't have a good job right now normally, okay? Arizona is closing down again. Like, thank goodness for me that I'm in the therapy business and people are bailing like crazy because we keep shutting down. But they shut down the bars, the gyms, everything again. So there are so many people without jobs, yeah. My little girl, the boxer you guys met before, I just see her little nose trying to push the door open. This says, say something nice to a friend. And we should always do that. Does not cost to be nice, okay? So, guys, that is my Walmart haul. And, again, I'm sorry that it cut in between the Dollar Tree and the Walmart. But I don't know how long they're going to have those great deals on the food and the fabric. You guys have got to get out there and get to them because they were awesome. So I hope everyone has a great night. My video didn't cut me off, so I will be uploading this one right now. Today is Wednesday, and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.